Hey there everyone, Charms Fees here with yet another speed art video. And you know, this week was a little bit interesting. You know, it's October, feeling a little spooky, and but we're all inside pretty much thanks to the pandemic and only go out for groceries. So it's been a while since I actually whipped out Clips Paint Studio and my other tablet, which is the Dial 220 SM. I know last week I shut off that I'll be doing a review on the Humion Canvas 13. That's gonna be a little bit, that's gonna, I'm basically putting a pin on that for now. And I just wanted to quickly just do a little quick paint sketch because, you know, my Instagram is looking a little dry right now. So I wanted to do some environmental landscape painting. Uh, and I decided to challenge myself and just stick to about three brushes and just work on perspective and composition in general. Nevertheless, my, my whole entire uh, workflow for this was a little bit more messier than usual. It felt like I was using finger painting than anything and I don't really have a good grasp on traditional painting. But nevertheless, I was just over painting, under painting, doing my thing, trying to block in my shapes. Just do my thing, you know? And I really want to do a tutorial video in the ser future on how I go about my art without going to art school. Or if you guys are interested in that, let me know in the description below. Or what do you want to see me do next as an artist? Or if you want me to go back to doing 3D printing videos. I mean, this channel is a whatever channel after all. Nevertheless, you can see that I'm using one basic one-point perspective, trying to create this really cool uh, country lot. And then I just realized that, you know, this is spooky month. Let's make it a little creepier. So I decided to turn this farmhouse into a little bit more of a larger mansion-looking countryside house. And then I thought, you know what, maybe let's make this a, a creepy village because currently I'm on Twitch, I'm going through and playing the Resident Evil video game. And if you're interested in that, definitely check out the links in the below. And if you guys are Resident Evil fans, you know the next game takes place in the creepy village, you know, back to what Resident Evil 4 was doing. And, you know, I'm this, this series that I, I was oblivious to this whole entire time growing up and not knowing what it was, I'm kind of excited to actually have it come out. And I, my goal is to actually finish playing all the games in anticipation for it. So I can cover it on my gaming channel, which is another link in the description below. Shameless to plugging myself, as usual, you know it, how it is. No shame in that. Nevertheless, I tend to do this one thing where if I'm using monochromatic colors, I invert the, the color palette just to see if my shapes are coming in. And you'll see me once in a while, I don't tend to zoom in and zoom out a lot like a lot of other artists. And it's it's to emulate that feeling of the, the fact that, first of all, I'm not drawing with a display tablet. Second of all, it's that in real life, if you're drawing with a piece of paper, you wouldn't be moving your bobbing your head back and forth, back and forth just to see something which uh, zooming in does. And one thing is that when it comes to painting or drawing in general, less is more. You don't want to zoom in working on, on all this detail that wouldn't make sense at the end of the day because you possibly, I know this is going on Instagram, nobody's going to be looking at the house and looking for a floorboard or anything like that. And so here I'm doing a little cheat trying to create that village and I basically uh, copied and pasted over the composition and like I said less is more when you're looking at a composition for a painting in the distance in real life if you're to look at a cityscape or a horizon line you'd see the basic shapes your brain will fill in those shapes but it'll be a little bit faded out a bit more and that's because atmosphere I'm trying to make this a really atmospheric piece and like I said since I was inspired by the Resident Evil new Resident Evil video game coming out, Resident Evil Village, or as I don't know the name, I'm not familiar with it, I haven't even seen the trailer, all I know is I'm excited for it. Uh, I wanted to add some snow, and since, you know, it's getting a little bit colder around here in this part of the world, I added some snow and some atmosphere and some uh, gaseous smoke and fog, and I'm doing that with uh, a watercolor brush here. I just wanted to push this piece out under 45 minutes, really time myself, really push myself to get this down. And then of course add some a little flakes here and there, snow falls, falling particles, just to kind of capture like as if I'm taking a picture in freeze frame. And then here I kind of made a mistake of going through with the overlay layer, and then now I'm just going through and just creating a correction layer, and just trying to make the colors pop. And that's one thing I recently found out about Quick Paint Studio. I'm constantly learning new things about this program since I picked it up, and it's really a lot of fun. Nevertheless, now we're nearing the end and I'm, as I'm still playing around with the filters, nothing new. And as we near the end, I just wanted to remind you guys to check out my channels and my Twitch channel. I'm always live streaming, probably good, there's a good chance I'm gonna be live streaming tonight. 
check out my schedule. Links are in the description below. And here's the final piece. Uh, I hope you guys liked it. If you made it this far and you're new around here, hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell, and like this video. Leave a comment below what you want to see next. Uh, I take drawing requests on Twitch and on Twitter, though. So do be sure to follow me, and I'll see you guys in the next one.